welcome to week six of IT. This week we're looking at starting a common room challenge where you will be trying to convince a member of staff at Foy River Academy that you want a common room for students. And this proposal is going to be based around things you want to put in the common room, such as sofas or bean bags, or maybe you want to add something else like a pool table or a air hockey table. The common room challenge is based on finding and sourcing your things that you want to piece in your common room and then costing out all of the items so that we know how much it's going to cost. The next part of the common room is going to be how you're going to support it. Maybe you may want to charge for coffee for instance or for some nibbles or crisps that you might sell in the common room. This will enable you to purchase more items for your common room. So the spreadsheet is going to help a member of staff at Foyer River Academy see your proposal and see what costs and what outlays and what kind of running costs the common room will have. So let's get started. So the first thing, we're in Office 365 here, as you did last week, uh, using your username and password. The first thing is we need to go to your one notebooks so again your one notebook has all the information that you need and there will also be some set questions for you to complete so let's head to your one notebook to start off with so here it is one note and then look in your class notebooks and then select your class from the list so i'm just going to and you can go into your class notebook to find your class. I'm just going to pick here, Year 8 IT Water. And let's just pick someone from the list. And go on Alexander Davison. And again, we should be in Introduction to Excel. And again, you can see last week's page here, Excel Operations. And this week's is the Common Room Challenge Part 1. So the first part of this week is to answer a couple of questions. Now these questions require answering using a screenshot of Excel. So how do you add two cells together? So you can simply show me how to add two cells together in Excel and then a little screen clip of your evidence. Again, just to clarify how to screen clip. So if you're on a laptop or PC, I've got Excel open here. You can take a screenshot by holding the Windows key and Shift and S. And that then lets you screen clip parts of your screen. And then in your OneNote, you can then copy this into your pages. So if you try to paste here using the right click, you'll see it's asking you to use the shortcut Control V. So Control V, and this will bring it into your spreadsheet. If you're using an iPad or a similar device, what you need to do is you need to take a screen shot of your current screen. So that's normally the power button and the volume up button this will then save that to your camera roll. Now to add that to here you can then use the insert and you can then use picture and then you can then use from file and then that will allow you to locate that from your camera and then you can then add that into your screen here. If your insert picture is slightly different from this you might see from pictures or you might see from camera roll depending on what version you are using. So that is how to insert your evidence. There are two questions here. The first one is adding two cells. The second is formatting a cell to a color of your choice. So here we go down underneath all the information that you need about the common room challenge and about the tasks you're going to be using. And the last part which we'll look at before we finish today which is to screenshot each of your pages you're going to be creating today. So let's begin by using Excel. So I'm going to get myself back to my Office 365 and we can then look at Excel and 
from Excel we're going to do a new blank workbook. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to create our pages for our common room challenge. So before we begin, let's save it appropriately. So let's call this common room challenge and I'd like you to put your name after it. So my name is Mr. Wormsley. So let's have a look at our sheet. So the first sheet we're going to call is home page. And then we're going to add some more sheets down here. So using the plus button, the next one is going to be proposal. The next one is going to be costs. And the fourth one is going to be business plan. So there are our four sheets that we're setting up. Now let's go back to the home page. Now what we're going to create on the home page is something that looks nice to look at. And from here someone can then, rather than clicking down here on these cumbersome sheets, we're going to create some nice menu system here so they can take you to the different sheets. This makes quite a nice place for Excel. We're going to add some pictures. Again, you can add as many pictures as you like to your spreadsheets. And then we're going to see how to insert longer bits of text. So let's start off by getting rid of the grid lines because they're quite unattractive. We're going to go up to view and then we're going to turn grid lines off. Now next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a colour for my sheet. So again I'm going to use the Select All tab. And then I'm going to go up to Home. And then I'm going to go to my Paint Bucket tool. And then I'm going to pick a colour for my spreadsheet. So I'm going to go for a nice green. And there we've got a nice green for our page. The next thing, let's give our spreadsheet a title. So I'm going to click in cell E4 here, so E4, and then I'm just going to type the words Common Room Challenge. So now I've got Common Room Challenge, let's make this text larger. So by using the size here, I'll take it up to 36. Now I'm going to add some pictures. Now I'm going to show you how to add a picture, but you might want to add additional pictures to brighten up your home page. So I'm going to just click over here underneath the word challenge. I'm going to go up to insert, and then I'm going to insert a picture, and then I'm going to choose a file. So this brings up your files. If it's on an iPad, it will bring up your sections where you can look at downloads or your iPad files. I'm just going to add a common room picture that I picked up from the internet. So again, you need to source those from the internet. So click open and then click insert. And there's my picture there. So I'm just going to scale it down. So there's my picture again. You can add as many pictures as you like. All you have to remember is to save the pictures from the internet and then you can attach them or insert them into your Excel spreadsheet. The next thing we're going to take care of the menu. So we're going to type the words which represent our sheets. So the first one is um, proposal. The next one is costs. And the next one is business plan. So again, I'm going to select these and I'm going to make them slightly bigger. Now, if you've ever used hyperlinking, hyperlinking allows you to link to other parts of anything from PowerPoints to web pages, and it's the same in Excel. So you can link it to different sheets in Excel. So what we're going to do is we're going to link each of these words to the different pages. And on each of the pages, we're then going to have a home button to take you back to the home screen. 
Now to create a hyperlink, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on um, the first word. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to hyperlink and we want a place in this document. Now the first thing to type is the sheet name, so this is proposal and then you need to follow it by a exclamation mark and then it's wanting a cell reference number so cell on that sheet, so the easiest one to always pick is just A1 so that's just going to navigate the spreadsheet to A1 cell in the top left hand corner on the proposal sheet so let's click OK again it's resized it but you can increase its size again so if we now look at our hyperlink hover over our word if we click the word it takes us to the proposal sheet so again go back and we can repeat this for each of our links so just right click hyperlink place in document and this is going to be our cost sheet so that special exclamation mark A1 and then let's make it a bit bigger and then we can repeat. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish all those off. OK, so now they're all finished off, let's head to our first page, the proposal page. Now again, I've added a back to home button here. Now what we can do to save a little bit of time is once you've created your hyperlink to back home, you can then copy this cell. So we're going to copy and then we're going to paste it into different cells and the hyperlink stays same so you can put all those back into all of your pages. So proposal page. So again let's give it a title. So proposal. Again I'm going to make it bigger. Now you notice it goes across the different cells so we can sort this out by using something called merge and center so I'm just going to pick up my word here and I'm just going to bring it across four different cells here I'm going to use my merge and center this then merges those four cells and fits my text into the middle okay just a quite a nice formatting tool to use when creating spreadsheets so a proposal, this is going to be some text for you to think about and how you might want to propose to someone about a common room. So let's go ahead and select a portion of our sheet. So I'm just going to select a portion here and then do merge and center. And now it gives me an opportunity here to start typing into my text. But if you notice, it is in the middle of the box. Now that can be a bit cumbersome so we can alter that so that it fits into a cell properly. So if we look up here in the formatting we want it at the top and we want it to the left as we would normally type in any other document. So this is going to be proposal so think about why you want a common room. So for instance we as students require a common room so that we have some place to go to at break times to relax and talk to friends. Again we can see it's going outside of our box so we need to wrap this text side of our box, so wrap text. Your proposal needs to be at least four sentences, four different reasons why you would want a common room at Forty River Academy. Okay, now let's look at the cost sheet. The cost sheet, this is where you're going to decide on what items you want in your common rooms. This is the fun part. So again, I'm going to add my title, costs, of items. Again I'm going to merge it into four cells 
make the item bigger. So now we're going to create a table to add our items. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the first column called items, and then we're going to have item costs, and then we're going to have quantity, and then we're going to have total. So I'm just going to make these columns slightly wider. And I'm going to now make these headings bigger so that we can see them. Okay. And lastly, let's use a formatting tool that we used last week to format this as a nice neat table. So I'm going to select my table and I'm going to get you to add 10 items to this list. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's my 10 items. We're going to have to format table and then we're going to pick a colour of the choice. I'm going to go for green and then tick my table as headers because it has titles. And there's my table. Now let's look at the items. This is where you're going to add your items. Ten things that you want to place in your column room. So clearly we're going to need some chairs. So I've hunted down some chairs. Obviously I found them on IKEA. Here they are, IKEA website. I only go for the the Vedbo. £120 it is. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to title so ved bow I'm going to add this to our common room so ved bow chair to so the cost the cost is 120 pounds and the next thing is quantity so we're going to need at least 40 of these chairs and the last thing is to work out the total so we're going to use a formula again, so using the equals, and then we're going to take this cell, so by clicking in the cell, and then multiplying it by the quantity, so clicking in this cell, and then using the enter key or the accept key, and it works out my totals. Now because we format as a table, it will automatically add that formula in for all of the next rows so it saves you all that time you do it once and Excel fills in the blanks for you next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some formatting so item costs this is pounds so again we're going to go to general I'm going to change this to currency we're not in the United States we're in pounds and the quantity can stay the same and total again these have to be currency And the last thing to do, we're going to hyperlink this item here. So we're going to right click on here, hyperlink, and now we're looking for a URL this time. So if we use the IKEA website, so we're going to copy this website address, and then we're going to paste it into here. Please make sure for it to work, it doesn't copy this in twice at the beginning. Remove this and click OK. So now, when you click this in the spreadsheet, it will take you to the website address. So, I'd like you now to add your nine other items to this. So, find the item on a website, the item cost, the quantity, and the total. So, again, it might be um, a table, and then the item cost, I don't know, £200, for instance two of them. Again, don't forget your currency in here and then your hyperlink for your item. Notice it does all of the totaling for you because you did the first total and this will do all the way down. The last thing to add to this is to add a total cost and the total cost we're going to add up this column here. So if you can remember from last week, we're going to use a formula called SUM. So all formulas and functions start with 
equals and then we're going to start typing sum and there it says sum double click and then we're going to select all of our numbers in here and then accept or enter key and there is the total cost so as you add all of your items into here with your hyperlinks your cost will obviously rise so last thing to do then with all of our pages our home page hopefully you can make it more colorful than mine our proposals of why you think you need a common room and your 10 items which you are thinking that are essential for your common room again think big if you want a pool table say you want a pool table the business plan we're going to use next week so last thing to do is to screen clip each of these pages into your OneNote so again repeat the procedure so if you're on a laptop or PC you can use the Windows key Shift and S and then you can paste it into here or if you're on an iPad you need to save the screenshot and then use the insert picture picture from either your pictures or camera or file and you can locate your screenshot that you've saved to your iPad once you've taken the screenshot, it should save into your camera roll. If there are any questions, please let me know. Common Room Challenge. So you should have homepage, hyperlinks, pictures, text, colours, a proposal, and your costs for your items. Good luck excelling this week I will see you all next week please remember to upload your work to your one notebook okay, it's imperative that you do this and that you then upload those three screenshots to Firefly so that your teacher knows that you have completed the work thanks for watching